We begin with graphic images coming out of Afghanistan. Taliban soldiers firing at crowds in Kabul, detaining people in the street, taking passports, blocking people from leaving at Kabul airport. Joining us now, Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn of Senate Armed Services and retired Marine Staff Sergeant Joey Jones. He served in Afghanistan. I am so grateful for both of you to have, uh, have both of you on. Senator, first to you, how can it be that thousands of Americans were stranded behind Taliban lines with no clear plans to rescue them? How did that happen? It is inconceivable that this could have happened, that this administration has been so ill prepared for this. And we have been asking for weeks in different hearings. I even put some of it up on my social media today for an exit strategy. How do we make certain that we exit all of our U.S. citizens, our NATO partners, our Afghani partners, before you hand this over? And of course, it didn't have to be this way. If President Biden had stayed with the, the plan that President Trump and Secretary Pompeo had laid out, conditions-based, threat assessment based, you would not have seen this happen. And our allies and partners, our NATO allies had agreed to this. But instead, as of last night, I know the president hadn't talked to any other world's leaders. They're frustrated with him, just like the American people. And yep. a lot of veterans are frustrated with him. A lot of our men and women in uniform who are going to have to redeploy yep. to clean up this mess. I mean, there is... Yeah, we hear you. Yes. Upsetting. Yeah, it's just, it's shocking and reckless. Finish your thought. Go yes, ahead, Senator. Very much. It is so reckless. And there was an exit strategy. But to turn this over to the Taliban, to let them take control of the uh, embassy, to not give warning to all of these NGO uh, employees, people that have served our U.S. embassy, have worked alongside our troops. And we have been working tirelessly to get people out. And then we hear today that the liaison office for the House and the Senate, the Department of State liaison office is closed. And we're trying to help All people right. find a way to get to the airport and get out. Yeah, it's, it's Congress stepping in, Sergeant Joey Jones, right? I mean, you, what is your reaction when you see what's going on? How can it be that we're stranding thousands of Americans behind Taliban lines? The president is saying troops will stay. Now the news is coming in. Troops will stay until after the deadline of August 31st, until all Americans are out. So we're supposed to trust the Taliban who's saying death to America and shooting at men and women and children? Yeah, there's a good chance that on the 20th anniversary of September 11th, we're going to be in a standoff with the Taliban trying to rescue Americans that are effectively stranded in a, in a country that is ran by our, our, our most effective enemy in the last 20 years. And, uh, and that solely lies on the shoulders of Joe Biden and his administration. That's not to say that the Taliban ultimately controlling Afghanistan solely lies on their shoulders. But the way we've done this in leaving these these many Americans, not just not just Afghans who have helped us, but American citizens. I mean, we had one on Fox and Friends this morning, and that's one of probably thousands right now that, that just don't know how to get to the airport without intercepting the Taliban and possibly losing their life and their paperwork along the way. Uh, it, it's a dire situation yeah, when you have the State Department and the Defense Department saying two different things about that exactly, what Clarissa Ward called the gauntlet to get into the airport. Th that's a big deal, and that's something that uh, President Biden needs to reconcile. Yes. Well, you know, you know, uh, uh, Senator, here's the thing. The, uh, the president was vice president under Obama. And Obama said we're going to go down to 10,000 troops or 100,000 in 2014. He was vice president for eight years. He's on Center Foreign Relations. He can't play the blame game right now because he's been for this for so long. Let's listen to NSA Jake Sullivan on, on what's going on. Watch this. This mission is not complete by August 31st, and there are Americans and Afghan allies who remain there. Will U.S. troops stay until everyone is out, or will they leave? So I'm not going to comment on hypotheticals. What I'm going to do is stay focused on the task at hand, which is getting as many people out as rapidly as possible, and we will take that day by day. Okay, enough with the blasé talking points. This <laughs> yes. isn't playing with the American people. Senator, people are done. They don't want this, this idiotic, patently false 
talking points pouring out of the administration. You're going to have a hearing. Senate Foreign Relations is going to have a hearing. So is Senate Intelligence. Pelosi is saying the Biden team will testify as early as next week. Is that going to happen? What we need right now is action. And there are 6,000 troops that are going to be on the ground there. People cannot get to the airport. They need to have a plan to get people to the airport so that they can exit the country. Now, I don't know how far they're going to be able to push that perimeter out. I don't know the participation of Iran or Russia or China in all of this mix that is taking there. But I have talked to so many people that are military or veterans, and Elizabeth, they are saying this entire national security and DOD team needs to go because something went terribly wrong here. They did not have an exit strategy. They had a date on the calendar. The Taliban has said for years, you have the clocks, we have the time. And they had an exit strategy planned for us and getting us out of there. But we didn't have a plan for how we were going to get our people, our citizens, our partners, our equipment out of the country. This is truly a disgrace. And President Biden needs to own this. Instead, he's out here doing a COVID workshop today when we have Americans who may be losing their lives at the hands of the Taliban, and there is no acceptance of responsibility, and people are done, yeah. so done with these talking points coming from Jake Sullivan and Jen Psaki. Yeah. And Jake, Jake Sullivan is the guy who was pushing Trump-Russia collusion. Reports, uh, Sergeant Joey Jones, that uh, the Biden team ignored CIA and intelligence warnings uh, that basically Afghanistan was collapsing into a terror stronghold. You're going to see an ABC interview with President Biden saying, I didn't make mistakes, I didn't see the chaos coming, when he has been in the government since the Nixon administration. I want your thoughts on this. Senator Biden now, his old comments are coming out to haunt him. Mid-70s, he said, I'm getting sick of hearing about our moral obligation in Vietnam. Uh, he also, Atlantic Magazine is reporting, that, you know, he was asked about the brutalization of girls in Afghanistan, he said, we don't have to worry about that. Nixon and Kissinger got away with that. So there's a mindset at play here that people may not understand or have known about mm -hmm. with President Biden. What do you think? I think when someone tells you who they are, believe them. Uh, Pre President Biden's been consistent for about 11 years now on his position in Afghanistan. So I'm not surprised that he wants to pull out at all costs. And there's probably a political decision here that says, if I'm going to lose this war, let's do it before the midterm so I can run for re-election. I'm sure that's played into this. And the optics. We learned today that the optics of keeping Kabul and letting go of Bagram played into that and getting more troops home earlier to somehow fulfill a campaign promise, I guess. But just understand where we are right now today. There were three press conferences, the State Department, the top of the DOD and the president himself. And no one can sit here with a straight face and say that the families of Americans in Afghanistan or the troops in Afghanistan feel any safer or know any more about the safety of their loved ones. That's, that is malpractice on, on our top leader. That is, that is malfeasance in, in the Biden administration. And, and I just I pray for those family members and the people over there because their, their safety is absolutely in jeopardy today because of because of bad planning or if any planning at all. Sar yeah. Sergeant, do you agree with the senator that their teams, their foreign policy and defense teams have to go, that they have to step down? Do you agree with that, with the senator? I think a senator would know before I would. I was an E6 on the ground, and I can tell you that the small unit leaders are the ones that I look for. Uh, I've, I haven't met a general that I've believed in enough to go to war for in a while, and that's the sad part there. As far as if the Secretary of Defense or Chairman of Joint Chiefs, I mean, what I heard today was a lot of spin. I heard a lot of political speak today, and that's not what I want to hear from a general and a Secretary of Defense. Yeah. So I, I'm disappointed to say the least. Yeah. It needs to be. All we right, have a ratings. Yeah. We misjudged it. We own it. Here is a plan for getting everybody out. This is how we're going to do it. God bless these men and women in uniform, and may he protect all of these American citizens that are out there across across Afghanistan with no way at this point, no information on how to get to the Kabul airport, just told to shelter yeah. in place or try to make your way to the airport.
that they can't guarantee their safety. This is shocking. Right. It's disturbing. It Senator Marsha Blackburn, Staff Sergeant Joey Jones, thank you, Senator. We really appreciate you coming on. And, and Sergeant Joey Jones, thanks thank for you, your Leah. service to our country. It's great to have you both on. Good to see you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.